Hello. Hello. Hi, George. Hello. Uh, hi, I'm George. Nice to meet you. Uh, you hi, George. Nice last to meet you. Yeah. No, my name is Thales. Very nice to meet you, Thales. Yes. So, George and I, we already, we already know each other. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. we, we had actually the very first um, video that I recorded for the channel for the project was with George. So thank you, George. Really? For, yes, I yes, didn't yes. know that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Video. So yeah. I didn't know he was, he was the first one. Yeah, he was, he, was, he was the first one and I'm so grateful that he agreed to have this session with both of us, Dalis and I. Nice. So thank you, George. That's a, it's a very interesting project. I'm happy, happy to be a part of it. Oh, thank you, George. Thank you. You're very thank kind. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. So we, we wanted to talk to you today about the theory of attachment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So should I start, Alice? Or yes. Should I? You okay. can go. You can go ahead. Okay. So. Uh, so I'm just, just I'm just uh, just gonna apologize because I'm alone at home and I have computer issues, mm -hmm. so I'm doing it through my phone. And I have a little baby here with me, my dog, and she's very <laughs> very very. I mean, she wants she won't she won't leave me do the lesson, so I will be walking around sometimes. So oh, don't worry. Are very needy. I understand. I've got two. Yes, <laughs> yes, my my baby. My lovely baby. Your baby. Oh. <laughs> yes. Yeah, no, but it's okay. It's okay. Look at her. Oh. Uh, adorable. Yeah. Happy. Yes. I, all right. <laughs> okay. So you can go ahead, Camila. Okay. Oops. Where are you? Okay. So um, the theory of attachment was first published in a magazine in 1985 by two psychologists. Psycho psychologists 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 yeah. yeah of denver so they published it in a newspaper and it was a very interesting uh what they did was an interesting research research because research they, project yeah uh, yet yeah, a research uh, the research research search research 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 mm -hmm. project yes yeah. awesome <laughs> um, because they, 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 they realize that people fall into three categories in love mm -hmm. and, um, and it is very interesting to understand which pattern of behavior in love we have mm -hmm. so we mm -hmm. can um, identify some problems and try to fix it, to fix them in order mm -hmm. to um have better relationships <laughs> so oh my god so i'm going to i'm going to read uh to you the three the three possible um categories mm -hmm. and then uh i would like to ask both of you and share with you also which one of category do you think you fit the best but it is it is possible that we have more than one category, so it doesn't sure. have to be yes. one. Mm -hmm. So the first one, Stop it. A, I find the, re I find the re 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 relaxing. reluctant. No, 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 relatively. Reluctant? No, relatively, relatively. Re re relatively, relatively. Relatively, okay. Relatively with a schwa. Relatively, easy. Mm -hmm. Perfect to get close to others and I'm comfortable depending on them and not having the and having them depending on me. I don't worry about being abandoned or about someone getting too close to me. So this is mm -hmm. category A. B, I find that others are reluctant to get as close as I would like. I often worry that my partner doesn't really love me or, want, or won't want to stay with me. I mm -hmm. want to get very close to my partner and this sometimes scares people away. So this is B. And C, I am somewhat uncomfortable being close to others. I find it difficult to trust them completely, difficult to allow myself to depend on them. I'm nervous when anyone gets too close and often 
others want me to be more intimate and I feel they, they want me to be more intimate than I feel comfortable being. So this mm -hmm. is C. So I would like to ask to you, um, what do you think you look more like? Um, I can start. I, I think I definitely, for better or for worse, definitely look more like C. I've definitely, I'm definitely not the necessarily the most uh, emotional person in relationships. Even if I feel inwardly, I think I, I have more trouble expressing it at times. Mm -hmm. So I, I think I would probably fit best in the category C. Mm -hmm. Thank you, George. In your thoughts. Actually, I'm not, I'm not sure, but um, I think I'm more of a mix between B and C. It depends. I was uh, thinking over, but I couldn't figure out which would be the best for me. But I think a mix of B and C because it, it depends on the situation, depends, uh, oh my God, it depends, just a second, please. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. It's Come okay. They take. It depends on the situation, um, the kind of people who I am with. Uh, if I'm surrounded by many, many friends, mm -hmm. actually, I think it, yes, it depends on the situation. But most of all, most of times, I am a mixture between B and C. Interesting, interesting. Yes. Uh, I would say that I am B. Uh, yeah, in most cases, I mean, every case, I don't think I'm a mix at all. Uh, so the interesting thing is that, so usually the type A, it's the ideal. It's what we should crave for. Crave, strive for. Strive, strive. strive, strive for. Mm -hmm. uh, but only the minority of people are in category A. So mm -hmm. usually everyone we will meet are type B or type C. And the interesting thing is that we usually, a type B is attracted to a type C. So mm -hmm. we have this very strange dynamics where you have someone very distant, distant yes. emotionally, that the type C, it's called the avoidant pattern uh, and the type B is the anxious pattern so you have someone who it's somewhat needy or wants or needs a lot of affection with someone yes. who is reluctant to give that those feelings so usually it is a very interesting dynamic that that happens and in my personal experience uh, as being this type B that I only recently discovered that there was this theory of attachment. It, it's, it mm -hmm. explains a lot if I have known. Yes, I, I recently I, discovered it. Uh, yeah, yeah, tell, tell us. <laughs> no, you can no, 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 tell. <laughs> no, I, I was just saying that I just found out about this theory also. And I didn't, I mean, I, I've never seen it before, but I've, I kind of... Um, Intuited it? Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I would say that I'm, I'm a, I fit like I fit like B when I am with a partner like in a love long term relationship because I go I am very uh, emotional so I get very deep in emotions and I feel like I give everything I have to my partner and I want to be with with the partner as long as as much as I can the whole time mm -hmm. and I kind of. I can kind of uh, create some dependence on him and that's bad because when we split up, when we bre break up, eventually this is going to, this is uh, very tough uh, to deal with. And with friends, I, I am usually, uh, I usually express a pattern C because I kind of have, have the, um, the habit to get away from people to, um, social distancing I'm very uh, used to it so it's bad I'm trying to not do this anymore I'm trying to uh, get get uh, away from these patterns but it's kind of hard yeah. um, yes. a slightly better way of saying that would be I have a habit a habit of doing something so I have a habit of distancing myself or something like mm -hmm. that okay thank you I have yes that. yes I have a habit of distancing myself. And I think it's important, it's very important, it's crucial for us to understand in what kind of pattern do yeah. we fit. Because I think that this affects 
directly in the way we see ourselves mm -hmm. and the way we let people see ourselves. So, and yes, and this will impact in the pace of certain relationship or the success rate of some certain relationship. Mm -hmm. And yes, yes. What do you think about it, Camila? Hmm. Yeah. And you also, George, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I think you're all right. I think, um, I think that, I mean, I think knowledge is everything, like, Mm -hmm. I mean, knowledge is power. That's what yeah, Bacon yes. said. Yeah, yes. yeah. Knowledge is power. If I had known this theory before, before. yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I'm very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I probably will feel like you. <laughs> yes. And I probably know. I I'm uh, foreseeing what you are going to say. Yeah. Kind of. Kind of yeah. So if I had known, if I had known this theory before, I think, I mean, uh, the success rate of my relationships would be higher. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Because you know what I feel. So what I know now is that, like, by being this anxious type, um, I I need the other person to demonstrate. Um, like everything like I need to mm -hmm. know I and and I would think that because like the type of George like George is a type C so I would think if you I mean if you if we were in a relationship if you do not communicate much if you don't yeah don't, don't show how much you care how much you care with like verbal yeah verbally verbal ver verbal communication, verbal communication. Yeah. I would, I would feel like you, you don't care. Like, yeah, I mean, I, I've had a relationship fail due to that exact reason. Yeah. And I, I think that on the, you know, it goes both ways, you know, like you have to understand yourself and you have to understand your partner's needs. And I think I've, yes. I've been in relationships where I don't understand my partner's needs because they're so different from my own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and also we, we need to, t to be careful to not fall into some some traps like so so for example uh, um, a type i'm not saying that you do that but what i've researched is that a type c for example it is it is easier for a type c uh to for example to have sex or to have intimacy with a stranger than in a in a relationship it's very difficult but a for, long term a uh, long intimacy long term intimacy well, a type like, C, it, it, like you are going to see the person over and over and over, or a type C person is going to avoid to see this person, the the other person regularly. Because I I was like that. Really? I couldn't. Yes, I couldn't. <laughs> you were dating someone and you <laughs> were not seeing no, the I person. No, I wasn't dating. I wasn't dating. No, I wasn't dating. <laughs> I'm talking. I'm talking about casual meetings. Re re casual e encounters, ca casual encounters. encounters. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Thank you. Casual <laughs> encounters, because I think that that a, per a C person, a, a pattern, a, C a person with a C pattern. I, I mean, I am like I, I'm, I don't, I don't know. I am like that. I'm kind of like that. Like, I don't like to meet. A like, like you were really? say, like you're saying, it's sort of it's easier for you to like have casual sex, sort of with a lot of people than to like find one person sort of settle down with them. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, George. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I, yeah, I think it's very common with a, with a lot of people and you know, it, yes. can, to, it, can, it can lead to definite like problems. Cause I think sometimes you have the casual sex with people who aren't interested in that sort of lifestyle or, or think that there's something more. And I think it can, it, I, I've had friends where it's definitely led to like them, accidentally hurting people definitely mm -hmm. but yes and sometimes you know the, maybe the other person also only wants that and so it can work out yes but i i don't only i don't mean only sexual things but uh getting getting to know somebody you know right being in a routine with her, with someone right uh, yes like also just sort of in a platonic sense it's easier to like 
hang out with a different person every day of the week rather than spending yes. extended periods of time with the same people. I find it very bad. It's very bad, but I don't think it's good to put labels like into it. Like it is bad. It is how it is, you know. Yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. I, I think I'm gonna find out kind of how I deal with sort of that intense contact with the same people because um, when I go back to university, we're not allowed to see people for outside of sort of our house for mm -hmm. one week. So it's going to be me and two of my good friends for an entire mm -hmm. week, not seeing anyone but each other. And then after that, it'll still be mostly that way. I'll, we'll just be allowed to occasionally go out. And so I'm basically going to be spending, you know, 80% of my time with the same people. And I mm -hmm. think it'll be interesting to see to what extent like rifts occur and to what extent we're able to like communicate through them. Yes, for sure. Yes. Yeah. But you know them already? Yeah, yeah, the two yeah. best friends. Okay, yeah, so it might not be difficult. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think it would be difficult. Yeah. I yeah. think it would be difficult for if strangers, you are going to yeah. meet, yeah, as a stranger, new person, yeah. new people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think, Thales, maybe it's not, it's not bad what you described, but mm -hmm. I, think, I think what happens, for example, for me, like being very emotional and depending on certain like how can i say uh demonstrating the demonstrations demonstrations of affection yeah De demonstrations of affection so if i in a if i if i am in an intimate relationship with someone and usually i'm very attracted attracted to type c i mean sure. yeah it would be easier if it was someone more like me but yeah so i i should understand that the person needing his space their mm -hmm. space mm -hmm. um does not mean that the person <laughs> does not care you know right. the yes. person needs some some space to find maybe a balance equilibrium and yes. it's not about me and, and the same thing like for example for you too and the person needing or calling or texting or being too much it's not it's it shouldn't be like a warning sign sign for you to yeah. jump out of that maybe it's just the person does not want to suffocate you right. it's, it's just what the person needs so i think we take right. we tend to take it personally like uh i don't know it's like it is about us so it's better to yeah to run I, I think sometimes for me there's a sort of sense of guilt when i'm together with a person who's sort of type b because i'll like you know i think people who are type b tend to like put a ton of effort into like showing constant affection and sometimes i think there's a sense that i can't give the same back and so there's definitely mm -hmm. uh, a big sense of guilt where like i i should be doing more or i should yes. be offering more mm -hmm. yes yes I had a, an experience just like that. I I was dating someone, and I would, as I told you, I was I would give everything of me, but I couldn't. I wasn't expecting in in return, right? But the person couldn't uh, supply my expectations. But I I think I shouldn't put some expecta expectations. expectations. Yes, couldn't match my expectations, and I I think I I I realized that I couldn't. Uh, put much expectations in this yeah. other person because she has her own limitations, her sure. own way to see life, her own way to love someone. So yes, I think, uh, yes, it's very hard because you got to understand yourself and understand the place of the other person mm -hmm. and comprehend yeah. the whole situation. Yes, yes. Yeah, it is. It is like relationships. They're so complex, right? Yes. Ugh. What Takes on very do? complex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it kind of it kind of makes you want like to remain like single. I don't know. Yes. Some some yeah. some sometimes I'm like, oh, do I want to do <laughs> I told that? My, <laughs> I told a friend, not you, Camila. I, I told Camila today, but I, hmm. I think that my plans now are to get rich and travel the world. 
and be a good profesh- professional. Yeah, and not have a not have a no 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 long term relationships anymore. Yeah. But this is just a, a phase. I think it's gonna time moves on. Yeah. I I think for me, like when I'm in a sort of like really stable spot, that's when I want to be in a relationship. And mm-hmm. then when I'm in an unstable spot, I think that's when I least want to like have that relationship because it feels like I'm not really stable enough to offer something in it. Mm-hmm. And I also really dislike long distance relationships, having kind of been through those multiple times. And so I think, I think that's, an, that's another thing for me. I, I, I think for maybe a type C person, it's very hard to be in a long distance relationship purely because I think it's even more important to be able to offer some of those like signs of affection to the other person. Yes. And I think it's pretty difficult to do that when you're like overseas. Yes, I personally couldn't do uh, long-term distant relationships. I, no. It's very difficult. Yeah. This, it, it wouldn't work for me. Why Never. Yeah, because I, I, I feel like I need to, I feel like uh, in a loving relationship, I, I kind of create some um, dependent state on the other person. Can I say yeah. that? Yeah, you can say I, and, I, I become dependent on the other person. Yes, I become dependent on the other person and I just uh, feel the need to be around her the whole time. Mm-hmm. And I got to work on that, obviously. But that's why I couldn't work. I couldn't do long distance relationship. Yeah. No, Interesting. not at all. Hmm. Would you, Camila? Um, yes. <laughs> Have you ever thought about it? Yes, uh, I could. Yes, but for me, the challenge would be not to create, can I say fantasies, like mm-hmm. create stories in my mind that right. are not there. Like, Real? So, so not, you mean like no. negative fantasies, like imagining that the partner was cheating or something like oh, that? Oh, no, no, not, nothing like that. I think that, mm-hmm. I think, I think that Corona, I, I, I was just reading like an article the other day, how corona has impacted like relationships because people now they are at home and they cannot like go out so they are using tinder but they are just getting to know people online instead Mm -hmm. of actually meeting them in person and speak for that yeah Hmm? (laughs) i can speak for that yeah Yeah? okay (laughs) cool (laughs) so So can i I think I've met with I've met with one person from Tinder since this has happened. I've like talked to a whole lot, but nothing's ever come of it just because I think Corona makes it really unappealing for anyone yes. to do anything with random strangers. Exactly. Yeah. Yes, exactly. exactly. Yeah. So this article was was talking about something that I've always done, that is, like you meet someone <laughs> online, and like people are now meeting, uh, getting to know people online. And sometimes, so the person says, I mean, it's, it's more like projections. So uh, y- y- someone says oh, yeah. something and then you cannot take things for what they are. It's just, I mean, I think there's a lot of interpretation. The person yeah. is not saying what you are understanding, but you're seeing from your perspective, from your experiences, from yeah you know so you have tendency mm-hmm. to read things into whatever the person is saying exactly mm-hmm. exactly so for me it's not that i'm imagining that someone is cheating on me but it's like i i am creating this image like this person that does not correspond to the actual person right i mean i i guess if i were to meet that person in person i would be very <laughs> disappointed <laughs> because it was not yeah. the person that i created in my mind yeah, yeah. And I've, yeah. I've never been in a relationship with someone who I've never met in person, so I, I can't speak to that. But I think I think that neither do I as well. I c- yes. definitely could never do that. Start a relationship online that never really become like I don't think I could make an official relationship until I had actually mm-hmm. met the person. No, until you meet them, you don't know if it's like you know a, a beautiful woman or a creepy fifty-year-old serial killer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So what you could do actually was like meet the person in person. Can it, I mean, it's, does that make sense? Yeah, it, 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 oh, yeah, it makes complete sense. It just sounds, okay. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it sounds funny, but not in a non-grammatical way. It's just, I mean, I would say that too. It's just, it's just amusing because you say the, the word twice, but it's yeah. not. 
<laughs> so you, what you could do is you first meet the person in person and right. then you would like you you would continue like let's say that this person traveled and then that you could do if yeah. you have met the person previously i mean i could i wouldn't want to but i, I, I could <laughs> yeah. do that yeah no i i don't want to either but yeah but yeah because i think that i am um i i don't i don't i don't know how people do it like how they go on dates with strangers i guess i could only go in dates with people that i've known for a while like i i i, I basically dated friends i all I, I yeah. never dated someone that I met randomly, like, so. Oh, I've, I've only dated, I've only had one relationship where it started because I met them over Tinder. And that, yeah, it was fine until it, until it ended. I mean, just like any relationship, but. How it, long did it last? Sorry for the, the three question. Three months, I think. Three months, maybe okay. four months. Yeah. Uh, Talis is very curious. He's the most curious person. <laughs> no, ever. no, I wasn't sighing because I was like upset by the question. It was just because I couldn't. Actually... <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I'm just, I'm just letting you know. <laughs> by the way, a connected topic to this that I think you might be interested in is the five love languages. Mm-hmm. Yes, I was, I was thinking about it, but I yeah. didn't say it. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I think it's incredibly related to this because I, I think yes. it, there's sort of a, if you think of this as sort of a prescriptive way of describing the sort of the attitudes that I think the five mm-hmm. love languages are a more nuanced and descriptive way. I think yes. they can be very helpful as well. Mm-hmm. And I, I, those are also something that I wish I had used more in past relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. It is something that I only, that I just recently discovered. So I'm curious, George, what is your love language? I can't remember, honestly. <laughs> I think it's, I think it's physical touch. Yeah. It's physical oh. touch. You, Thales. I have no idea. Because I don't remember the five languages. I know that uh, words of... Word, words something. of like praise, basically, physical touch, mm-hmm. uh, gifts, like apologies or something. I can't remember. Hang on. That should, should be a two-second. There, there is this one that you do things like you clean the house and you cook for the uh, other yeah, person. I think that is... of, uh, words of affirmation, quality time, receiving gifts, acts of service, physical touch. I think I'm a mixture of physical touch and act, act, acting services. I act, forgot. Acts, acts of service. Yes, acts of service. Mm-hmm. Both of them. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Yeah. 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 What about you, Camila? What do you think about yourself? Oh, definitely. Uh, I love to give presents and, yeah, I kind of receive presents as well. I love. Mm-hmm. Yeah, when I when I like someone, I I I usually see oh that book this person is going to love that book, that t-shirt. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm a horrible I, gift giver, but that's something I'd like to improve at. Yes. I, I, think, I think it's very important. Also. <laughs> <laughs> you, well, so I think it's kind of interesting that puts like receiving gifts as one of the love languages. Cause I think it's receiving gifts is also very connected to like acts of service and yes. because it, I mean, it really shows that you care about the person and you think about like what their needs are. So I think it, I think, gifts are more important than one might think. I think it's a yes. gift giving is a great skill to have is what I'm saying. Mm, cool. No, but for me, it doesn't have to be something material. I feel so loved when someone like, I don't know, sees something or takes a picture of like this sunset and says, Oh, it just reminds me of you or, yeah. Oh, look at this. I just ate that. And it sent me a picture. I like to be remembered. <laughs> <laughs> so i'm guessing you Sorry. missed you missed the instagram food phase oh i don't know i was there all along no no she, she asking you if you miss the instagram food phase whenever when, when people like, post pictures of food on instagram yes. and stuff like that well, well but don't don't do they they don't do that anymore I, at I'm, least not I in mean, the u.s I, it, I, I not in the u.s they don't Okay. Uh, yeah. Here, here in Brazil, they do that. Yeah. At yeah. least I see some. I'm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 at least I have some. I, I follow some some people, and they do that almost the. Interesting. One hundred percent of the time. I, I guess I don't really follow any any Brazilians on Instagram for pretty obvious reasons. So send send us <laughs> yeah. your Instagram, and then. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You see, so George, thank you, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. For, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you for sharing and participating in this project. 
again and so i'm so very grateful to you yeah you, you always have such interesting topics i really enjoy well, it thank you george thank you and Thales. also thank you for joining i'm, I'm thank very happy you for having me here <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> nice, to you, nice yeah. to meet you too george my pleasure so it's an honor to be here thank you yeah, yeah so bye very nice have a good sunday and yeah. we'll talk soon all right see have you a next good time. day bye george bye bye, bye. take care bye.